Because of the focus on our state, the number of visits from high-profile political surrogates is higher than we've seen in years past. Tonight, we're verifying some startling claims made by Donald Trump Jr., who was in Chandler today. Trump Jr., former Fox pundit Kimberly Gulfoil, and the president of the college Republican organization were all in town hosting the students for Trump rally at a Chandler hotel. It is the latest in a series of high profile events by Trump surrogates over the past week in Arizona as the Trump campaign blitzes the state to gain ground against challenger Joe Biden in the polls. Joe Dana verifies some controversial comments the speakers made about Democrats and pedophilia. Don Jr. and his two co-hosts all made claims about a new California law related to punishments for sex offenders, and they warned that the law could be coming to Arizona next. To verify their claims, we're looking at the text of the law itself. We asked the California Police Association if they support the bill, and we went to the author of California State Senator Scott Weiner. You know what the left is doing? They're justifying pedophilia. SB 135 in California. You know, a 24-year-old can be with a 14-year-old. Guys, at no point in my life ever will that be acceptable. That's Donald Trump Jr. discussing California's new sex offender punishment law. Trump Jr.'s claim is false. The law does not justify or allow pedophilia. Sex between a minor and someone over the age of 18 still amounts to, at the very minimum, statutory rape in California. And prison sentences do not change. The bill's author, State Senator Scott Weiner, explains why the law is also not a democratic ploy. Donald Trump Jr. Uh, is a liar and he's lying about this bill. Uh, SB 145 um, was literally written by law enforcement, by the district attorneys and supported by the police chiefs. In fact, sponsors of the law include the California Police Chief Association, the California Coalition Against Sexual Assaults, and Children Now, which defends the rights of children. So what does the law do? First, it doesn't decriminalize anything. It does, however, address what are often known as Romeo and Juliet laws regarding statutory rape. Judges in California have always had leeway whether or not to put someone convicted of statutory rape on the sex offender registry list. If, for example, it involves a 20-year-old and a 17-year-old in a consensual relationship. But that leeway only applied to heterosexual relationships, not LGBTQ relationships. All SB 145 does is it says we're going to treat LGBTQ young people exactly the same way that we have treated straight young people since 1944, which is to give judges and district attorneys the ability to decide if someone, if when you have college students and high school students having sex with each other, they can decide whether to put someone on the sex offender registry. It's still a criminal offense regardless. California judges still have the same discretion to place offenders on the sex offender registry list, those they believe are predators or pedophiles, whether those offenders be straight or LGBTQ. Joe Dana, 12 News.